With your CID TV News update, I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday evening. We begin with our interview with Acting Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Samuel Williams Rodriguez, and Acting Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Elizabeth McLaughlin. They jointly released a press statement recently titled, Healthcare Facilities Urged to Use World Health Organization Approved HIV Test Kits. Both doctors explain why the statement was released. What happened is that uh, we have been uh, made aware, the public health department have been made aware of uh, three different instances uh, in different timelines where uh, three persons that were initially tested by a private care facility and tested uh, positive at the private uh, care facility and hence reported to the public health department. These persons subsequently have attended a different uh, facility and they were tested and then the test result was negative. Because of these conflicts on the result, we called the patient to the HSA and we had the test done at our lab. The, test, uh, the patient tested positive at our lab and then we sent the, the samples overseas of our for protocol and they were uh, confirmed to be positive for H uh, HIV. Because of, uh, of three different cases, and like I said, it's three different person, three different lab, uh, three different healthcare facilities, uh, we so that was appropriate for us to move uh, forward now and, and try to standardize uh, testing uh, across the island for all pri uh, healthcare facilities, private and public, to make sure that we're using reliable uh, HIV testing kits. The HIV testing is done all across the island in different healthcare facilities, and the kits are acquired from different sources. Uh, we uh, at the hospital, we use the kit approved by the uh, World Health Organization. Uh, we have sent a list to all healthcare facilities, even previously to the press release, advising them that uh, the list of HIV kits recommended by the World Health Organization because of the high reliability, reliab very reliable, this test, and that's what we want. So the, the healthcare facilities now are aware of these kits uh, who have a high sensitivity and high specificity and they're reliable. So now they are in the position now and there's like 17 on the list that we have sent. So there are different type of kits that they can get and they are recommended and that, that will be the best way to move forward uh, for all the facilities on the island, uh, public and private. Doctors Williams, Rodriguez and McLaughlin both spoke to any public concerns. No, the, there's no reason for concern as in worry are the, you getting bad testing, which is usually the concern. Generally speaking, the quality of testing, public, private, within the country is at international standards and quite good. Like any test, you can have some false negatives or sometimes even false positives. Um, this is just the start of trying to ensure that when the public is aware that to start having the conversations with your healthcare providers about the test and what is done, how is it done, to ensure that we keep the good standards we've had. I just want to reassure the public that the, the standard of care on the island of testing is very high when compared with other uh, countries. We do have this incident like expected in any country and that's why we're taking any measure to prevent them from happening. Uh, again, uh, it's not only about the HIV kits. Uh, this is the initial step and a series of uh, changes of regulation to be put in place in order to make sure that all healthcare facilities on island are doing the right procedure when testing, not only for HIV, but for any type of, of testing. And we've been working with the Ministry of Health and uh, other relevant agencies to make sure that that is a, that's happening here on the island. And the WHO list is available on the ministry's website at ministryofhealth.gov.ky. Meantime, the International Women's Day celebra celebration this year was hosted by the Department of Counseling Services. Keynote speaker was Dr. Jackson Katz, whose topic was gender on the agenda. Why equality between the sexes is a critical issue for women and men. Dr. Katz suggests that gender equality is one of the biggest unmet goals of the human species and that many societal ills, including income disparity, climate change, and economic development, stem from not fully addressing the problem. 
His work honors women's leadership in these areas as well as challenging men to do more. He says this stands advocates that male friends, relatives, and co-workers take a robust ch stand in challenging the male perpetrators of acts of gender in inequity, such as domestic violence, sexual harassment, and rape. A reception was held before his talk, which drew hundreds of people to the Marriott Ballroom on Wednesday evening. Dr. Katz's uh, keynote talk was followed by a question and answer session. Well, the Health Services Authority took part in World Kidney Day celebrations today. Patients and visitors to the hospital were able to take advantage of free screenings for blood pressure, glucose, and cholesterol from early in the morning through to 12 noon. So celebrated every year on the second Thursday of March, WKD is a global campaign that aims to increase awareness of the importance of our kidneys to our health and reduce the impact of kidney disease and its associated problems worldwide. The purpose of the screening being offered to the community by HSA is to help persons to identify if they are at risk of kidney disease and to give them the opportunity to adopt preventative measures and behaviors to reduce this risk as necessary. Now, attendees were able to speak to a variety of nurses, a physician, as well as a representative of the dietary services. Well, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush wishing you a wonderful and safe evening. See you back here again tomorrow.